just a quick one about this um, 1155 radio we've got in. I, I, I pulled this out of one of the cupboards to uh, so I do some instruction with my student and I thought it might be a, a nice little thing to try and get it working because it's been adapted for mains. But when I took the cover off, what I found was absolutely appalling. Um, it's an absolute dog's breakfast. Um, now considering we're dealing with uh, a uh, HT of uh, about 200 volts, 220 volts, um, the chassis is not earthed, yeah, they just use ordinary lighting flex with a car fuse um, and it's, it's soldered on. These wires have been cut and just left dangling. Uh, that there, believe it or not, a bit of tin wrapped around a bulb is the bulb holder and that's obviously the power lead for it. So I'll just tip it up on its end. Oh dear. And yeah, I mean the main transformer, considering, yeah, we've got uh, 240 volts mains on here and this is just hanging down. Uh, we've got components here which are just, I mean it's, it's someone's attempt some time ago, I think, judging by the look of the components, um, they're, they're the kind of thing I was using in the 60s, so around about then, I suppose. Um, maybe a little later, maybe someone in the 70s has had a go at this. Uh, but it is, it's an absolute dog's breakfast. Uh, there's a valve there where the, um, <coughs> where the valve holder's not even bolted to the chassis. Um, yeah, I, mean, I think this is the aerial cable. And if we look in there, just here, we'll find it's just wires twisted together and a blob of solder. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's terrible. There should be a magic eye in there. Um, but there's the holder for it. And so there's the meter been banged in. So it's obviously to give some indication of tuning. That's the on off as far as I can tell. And yeah, it's it's, They've, they've put it in a hole that's far too big and they've not even tried to plate it over to make the hole look nice. Um, there's a plastic cover was over there, which is this here, uh, and that's broken. And as you can see, they've, they've bodged the speaker onto the side and the case, that's what they did to the case. Um, it looks, it's absolutely appalling. I mean, no wonder uh, no wonder he put cork in there, uh, possibly to uh, stop him electrocuting himself. So yeah, so before my student could even think about looking at this, I've got to make it safe to use. So uh, yeah, that will keep me busy for uh, a little while. So I've got uh, I've got the circuit diagrams. I've got some proper three core flex to go on it. And uh, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll see how far we get. This could be a uh, a uh, put it back together and forget about it job and I'll see what else we've got in archive because this is terrible absolutely terrible this is the worst attempt to the conversion I've seen I'm sure there's worse ones out there anyway that's all for now um, from here at uh, East Kirkby I'll bid you uh, farewell and uh, enjoy yourselves in the um, upcoming winter weather ta-ta for now